Good day. On today's video, I will show you how to add batteries, lithium batteries, on your solar system. The good thing with lithium batteries is that if you want to um, get a bigger system, uh, a larger system, you can simply add one battery, two, three, uh, whatever your needs, okay? If you've got um, a regular uh, solar system with lead acid battery, for instance, or, or gel, uh, then you can't do that, uh, because usually one element uh, of battery is usually two volts. So if, for instance, you've got a 24 volt system, you will have 12 elements. So you can't just add one battery. Uh, because then it won't be good. You will need to add a full bank of battery. Uh, you will need to have two or three banks of battery, which is very costly. Uh, in my case, I've swapped from lead acid to lithium. Uh, so instead of having 12 batteries, now I've got one. And now I'm adding a second one. Okay, so I will show you how it works. Okay, uh, so right now what we'll do, we'll uh, open the box and see what's inside. What contain our box? Well, clearly the battery. Uh, uh, all, all lithium battery will come basically more or less the same. Uh, we'll have uh, a power button, we'll have two positive, two negative, we'll have uh, earth as well, and we'll have something to connect to the inverter, etc. We'll have a, a charge level as well, okay? Uh, in the packet that comes with it will come the manu uh, instruction manuals. We will have two connectors to connect from ba one battery to another. Huh? We'll have the earth cable to protect them. We will have a, a series of cables, huh? depending on your inverter, uh, you will select one or the other. And we'll have a small cable that will connect from one battery to another, huh? in case you want to monitor your battery uh, with your mobile phone, for instance. We will now fit that battery uh, in its place. Huh? We'll place it on top of the other. Uh, normally, uh, uh, depending on the brand of your battery, you, uh, you may have some little support, huh? so little legs uh, that goes to stack up the batteries. Huh? So you will have a bit of a space between each batteries. Sometimes you have a kind of uh, a type of furniture uh, uh, where you can slide all the batteries as well. I'm not too sure why, but this type of uh, box or furniture, I don't, want, I don't know how you want to call it, is extremely expensive. I've seen for three, four hundred euro. Uh, it's really, really expensive, not too sure why. Um, so anyway, in my case, uh, I've asked for the uh, for the support uh, that goes on it. Uh, they didn't have it in stock, never mind, I will have it next week. So what I will do for the time being, I will just place two pieces of wood uh, that I will place on the existing battery, like so, and place the other battery on top. Next time, uh, next week, when I've got the support, I fit them and that will be it. Uh. This will not affect the battery in any way, okay? Uh, now, before to connect it, we'll obviously uh, stop the entire solar system. Uh, uh, we'll make sure there's no charge coming from the panels. Uh, inverter stopped and the other battery stopped as well. It is now in place but now before to mount everything uh, I will just make sure it works huh? because it happens sometimes that um, you've got delivered a faulty battery. Huh? So what we'll do we'll just remove that this we'll put it on okay you will see that nothing happened why because we need to press that red button for a few seconds Okay, 
and now we can see run and there's no alarm that's good okay if the alarm goes on and then you know the the battery is faulty okay in that case you will need to bring it back where you bought it from okay so now everything is fine now i will switch it off and we'll start connecting my system is now completely disconnected and the battery switch off okay so let's now connect the two together so we'll start with the uh, negative so we'll connect from the outside you should make click to the inside good okay now same thing with the positive that's it done okay now it's connected now the cable itself so this will go from here to there okay now uh, negative that goes to the inverter goes at the top battery where does it want to go in okay it's a bit hard okay that's it it's done and same thing with the positive it goes at the bottom battery okay okay done okay now we need to connect the com battery uh, the one that goes from the battery to the inverter okay goes in and that's basically it okay now we will have to configure this okay but this obviously it depends of your inverter okay and and of your setup so what you'll have to do you will have to look at your manual what it says to have the correct settings here and there okay because you'll have basically a master and you will have a slave okay as batteries so now it's connected I will fit as well the the cable for the earth uh, that will connect one and the other and that will be it then we start the system let's now switch on the batteries and make sure that everything works okay this one charge this one is flashing okay that's perfect let's now uh, switch off the entire system inverter is on uh, there's a load on the house and the battery is charging huh? we see the solar system here so that's just great everything is connected everything works well there's no error there's nothing huh? uh, so that's I'm happy with that so now what I will do I will connect to uh, to my phone and see if everything charge well if there's an error stuff like that huh? because my inverter is connected to the Wi-Fi so basically I know everything the application I use is called solar power okay so I go on it and I will connect and see what happened. So I hope you will be able to see what's going on We're in the morning. Okay, I hope you see the, the top part is basically what uh, tells me the entry of power and the charge of the battery. I'm not sure it focus not too sure if you can see it, but basically the it's charging right now on the solar panel uh, more than 1.8 kilowatts. Okay, the battery is at 81% so that's great huh? and the house uh, use only two percent of that power uh, so I'm very happy with it okay now what I want to tell you as well uh, because there's a very wide range of batteries that you can buy a huh? small one big one etc um, these ones are 48 volts and I've used uh, I've selected small ones uh, 2.5 kilowatts why uh, one the weight huh? mm, I've, I've seen batteries of five kilowatts they are very very heavy okay uh, so those ones when you have to move them it's easier to start with uh, on my system i will have a total of four batteries huh, stacked up uh, so now you will tell me why not place one big battery and you're done well because of bad experience I had before with lead acid batteries when one failed the whole system collapsed well basically i don't want to have this huh? so if one day uh, one of those batteries were to collapse 
at least I've got the other one. So basically, I will still still have electricity, and I will be uh, I won't be without. Okay. So that's the reason why I will select four batteries in total. So like that, if one day one fail. I'm good to go, okay? Uh, because if you buy one big one and it fails, you've got no power whatsoever, okay? So anyway, I hope that uh, video has been useful. If you got any questions, don't hesitate. See you, ciao.